<clears throat> Jesus. I fucking hate Masked Ultra Instinct. Oh my god. It's a horrible start to a video. Um. Fuck. Uh. I just. I. I just don't fucking. I don't get it. I guess maybe. Maybe I'm just stupid or something. Um. Fuck. Uh. Shit. From what I get, what Ultra Instinct is, it's just your body moving without thinking. And you're really fast, and like gives you a power boost. It's not a transformation, it's, it's just anyone could do it. Krillin could do it, anybody could do it. It's not, it's not that special, you know. I just, Master Ultra Instinct just took the cake though. It, it, it was just so retarded. Now when I was a wee boy, you know, you know, whenever I was a little boy, um, no, no, I think I was like, what, 10, 11? Like 12, I think. And I found out what Dragon Ball Z was. It was my first time ever actually seeing anime, and it was fucking awesome. It was, it was the greatest thing ever. Like, Dragon Ball Z uh, shaped me as a person. It was the greatest anime ever. <laughs> It just, it was, it was, it was so good. It was, it was, it was so good. But everything changed, dude. Like, everything changed fast. Too fast, in fact. I watched Dragon Ball Super, and I'm like, <laughs> this is bullshit. Look, I, I, I haven't read the moral arc. The, the moral, sorry. I haven't read the moral arc. Um, what people are saying is that it's not too bad, it's not too good. Um, I bet it's probably average, which isn't a bad thing. I'm not saying that. But, you know, I, I... I think there's not really a lot that they could fuck up with this, but still, it's just Ultra Instinct and how it's handled. <sighs> you know, it's, um, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the, of the fucking video. The point is, I, I don't really care what you say. Like, I heard that Ultra Instinct was like a real thing. I mean, it's not like really real. It's like a technique that, I don't know, Japanese people use. Some, I don't know, some ancient shit. I, I, I don't really care. The, the point is, the point is, Here's some people who are like, oh my god, he's just running at the speed of light, and I just sort of hate it whenever they make characters too overpowered and just stupid. Like Saitama. Saitama could be killed if Thanos snapped his gauntlet. Then Saitama will turn dust. That that's just how it that's just how it works. Saitama will be turned to dust. Uh, he'll be turned to dust. But like, if Thanos tries to punch Saitama, of course, you know, Thanos is gonna lose. That's like the point of Saitama. If you wanna punch him, you're gonna die. So use your so use magic. But use reality warping against him. It's the only way to kill Saitama, pretty much. Oh yeah, doesn't doesn't Saitama need air? Wasn't he thrown into space and like he held his breath? I guess that's like another way to kill him. You know, like you try suffocate type. So, wait, wait, we're getting off track. We're going on a tangent. I, I shouldn't do that. Um, fuck. Uh, Master Don't Instinct. Pretty much. Here's how it should work. It, Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. actually, I, I can't talk about that. I'm talk I was talking about how... <clears throat> Fuck. I was talking about how most characters are just so overpowered. Hit, I thought it was simple. He could, like, skip into the, into the future, and that was cool. That, that was good enough. But then, like, he has, like, a time thing and, like, a, a pocket dimension. I'm like, <laughs> you, you can stop now. I don't need all that. I really don't. Like, nobody needs that. And then Jiren, they said, He's faster than time and space. Oh my god, they were shaking the null realm, dudes. <laughs> I just, I mean, like, Jesus Christ. Everyone was like, Oh my god, like, they're shaking the null realm, guys, and shit like that. And I'm just like, guys, <laughs> you do understand that, um, <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Here's the thing. I don't exactly know this for sure, but if you were to run at the speed of light, or move at the, at the speed of light, I, I'm not sure that you'd be able to will see things. I mean, as you know, you know, as soon as you're doing that, you're running as fast as light. I'm pretty sure that things would be able to, either everything would be dark, everything would just be, or everything would just be like a mesh of colors, and you wouldn't even be able to understand what's even fucking going on. Because you're running at the speed of light. That's not, that's not a good thing to do. It's, it's, it's stupid to do that. So whenever you hear someone say, oh my God, they're going as fast as the speed of light, I'm just like, <laughs> or faster, I'm just like, who cares? That's not even an achievement. Teleporting is more of an achievement than fucking speed of light because it's fast and that legit. If you're, if you're fucking thinking about it, uh, I just, I, I just don't get. I, I just, I will give the people who go. Mur, 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 it was the best thing ever. I give them one thing. The fight was, yeah, it was, it was super awesome. I fucking loved it. Like it really was good. Animation was phenomenal. Sound design. I could watch the Japanese dub or the English dub. They're both just so awesome. They really are. Um. 
But in the end, as soon as Goku's hair turned white, I, I just... This was, this was my face. I drew a, an exact replica of my face. <laughs> I'm serious though, this is, this is how it made me feel. I was like, why is his hair white? What's, what's going on? Just, as soon as he had Master Ultra Instinct, I was like, that, that doesn't make any sense. Look, there's a difference between a Zenkai boost and just being retarded. Like, you remember, like, Vegeta got his ass kicked by Cell, right? And then, like, Trunks, wait, no, 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 like, like fucking Cell had, like, fucking shot a key blast at Trunks, right? In, in Dragon Ball Z, right? And then, like, Vegeta was like, you, you bastard, uh, uh, killed my son, yada, yada, yada. You, you know that. But Vegeta still couldn't defeat him. You know, you know why? You know why? Because you can't just say, oh, I'm instantly mad and shit like that. Because that isn't how Dragon Ball Z ever works. You could get mad, sure, but you needed to have something before that. You needed to have training, experience, and Zenkai boost. And Namek, it was... <laughs> even in Namek, it was, it was too much. I was like, <laughs> why, wow, just getting Zenkai boosts left and right? Jesus fucking Christ. It's just... You can't actually put that here, because this isn't a transformation, you know? <laughs> My points lie at the fundamentals of it. Now I shall explain, wait, wait, no, I'm still not done, because like, I keep on coming back to like that tangent of how Jiren and everyone's moving faster than time, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, like, what does that even mean, I I'm moving faster than time, or some shit, it's just fucking stupid, but actually I should get into like, the, you know, Ultra Instinct. Here is how it should work, and this is probably how it does work, if, it's, if this is a, a real fucking thing or some weird practice that they do. It's simple. Ultra Instinct, you know, moves your body without thinking, yada, yada, yada. I mean, like, no fucking duh. And it does give you, like, a major power boost, but it isn't a transformation. Meaning, number one, your hair isn't gonna turn white. That's actually it. That's my, that's like, legit. Well, I mean, that's not really my only gripe with it. But that really is definitely, like, one of the, like, main... It just, it was, I was like, why is his hair white? It looks cool, sure, but, like, why, why is his hair white? <laughs> You're like, you don't see Jiren's aura turning white or anything. Jiren's aura stayed red like it always was. And I was like, oh, he's just buff now, but you know. And in fact, in fact, whenever I'm thinking about it, Jiren's the only one who even deserves Master of Ultra Instinct. Okay, now here's the other thing that a lot of people are just really retarded about. <laughs> I don't care what you say at all. I just, I, I really, really don't. But Master of Ultra Instinct would mean technically this. You can turn it off and on by simply breathing. That is how Master of Ultra Instinct would work. Pretty much, you can just do it all day, every day. <laughs> and yeah, but you wouldn't be unstoppable. You, you could definitely still die. In fact, this is actually proven within the Goku and Jiren fight. Whenever they're fighting and duking it out, Jiren still gets the upper hand. You know why? Because Jiren's stronger. That's legit why. Okay, so imagine that fucking, you have Ultra Instinct, but your power level is Super Saiyan 2. So if Goku goes Super, uh, duh. so if Goku goes Super Saiyan 3, then you're fucked. Th that's just how that works. It doesn't matter if you're uh, dodging and all this shit. It, it doesn't matter. That that doesn't matter. You're going to fucking get flopped. You're gonna get clapped. It's just how it works. And you know, like I said, like it's literally just proven. As soon as he starts fighting Jiren, I was like, it's not because it's incomplete. It's because he doesn't have a big enough power up. I would have ranked Jiren. Cause I literally made up this entire fucking transformation chart. But basically, obviously, he's stronger than uh, you know Super Saiyan Blue. I mean, like that's that's a no-brainer. I mean, no fucking duh. So. Like, how was I even gonna rank him, really? I guess, you know, Master Ultra Instinct's the next step. The next step, just, jeez. Um, God. To be honest, these, these people make me angry, because I just, <laughs> I'm trying to explain something that's actually pretty easy to explain. Technically, this means that Jiren already had Master Ultra Instinct, if you're really thinking about it. Throughout the entire tournament, Jiren can turn Ultra Instinct on and off as, as easy as breathing. That's what Master Ultra Instinct is, I don't care what you say. That's what it is. You can just turn it off and on instantaneously. That is what Master Ultra Instinct is. And yeah, whatever, you get an awesome power boost. Whatever, whatever. So, <laughs> even if I were to say that, I don't know. Jiren was missing a component. In the end, I just, I hate how he gets it. Here, here's what could have fixed it. Here's what could have possibly have fixed this transformation fiasco. Jiren and Goku are duking it out, but they don't have Master Ultra Instinct. Then out of nowhere, both of them, uh, their auras grow just huge, and then they go buff. Except Goku's hair doesn't turn fucking white. And then, 
They both, like, like I don't know, Whis and all the other angels were like, they're, they're going to do one more punch, and then they're going to be done. They're, they're all going to, they're, they're going to be done. They're going to be worn out to the point where they're going to start coughing up blood and shit like that. So basically, um, yeah, they do one more punch, and like, the entire, like, the stadium almost gets crushed. It was going to be awesome. I just wish I could animate. I just, I, I, I really do, because... I, I, I would love... I, 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 look, the point is, that's how it would happen. And there, there you can have your Master Ultra Instinct, whatever. And, and, and hey, if, like, like, if I were to animate the stupid shit, maybe I would have it to where his hair is white, even though, as I said, it just doesn't make any sense. Why is his hair white? Now, there's only one reason why they did this. It's because they knew that dumbasses would either say, oh my god, he's becoming an angel, or people who were smart would say, no, he's not an angel. That, that doesn't make any sense. But the strangest thing is that whenever they say that he's not an angel, no one even, no one even, like, they don't even question, they're like, they don't even say, well, uh, well, I don't know why his hair is white, but whatever. They don't even say, well, I know, it's just stupid that his hair is white, but he's not an angel, guys. I mean, like, come on. <laughs> come on, you dudes. To me, Ultra Instinct should be like meditation, something that's so tranquil, so beautiful, something that you need to not fight with your fists to achieve, something that you need to calm down and truly feel. <sighs> um, I don't understand how people have this thought process, you know, that <sighs> I love the fight. Like, I, I constantly rewatch it because it's, it's so awesome. It really is. It is such a spectacle that it is just impeccable. It's, it's just, it really is awesome. It really is. But there's a difference between, you know, being awesome and being just stupid awesome. <laughs> and this fight was very stupid awesome. <laughs> No one's gonna listen to this. I mean, how no one's even gonna watch my stupid video. Like, <laughs> just put it out there. Pretty much just to put it out there. But it's just like, nobody really understands how Ultra Instinct should work. I don't care if you're looking it up on the way. Because, or any of that stupid shit. I really don't care. You know what I started doing? Because, you know, I was so pissed off, just so enraged by Dragon Ball Super, the anime. It, it wasn't even finished yet, that I legit started to do what I call uh, being in justified denial, which is to basically um, not take something as canon at all. Basically, you are in such a denial that you just don't take it as canon. Like, legit, I'm rewriting the entire story. If I can't animate it, then I'll just draw it and, I don't know, post it somewhere on, I don't know, a comic site, something, I don't know. <laughs> but I will, I'm, gonna, I'm going to do it, because Dragon Ball Super just, God, it's so awful. It's so awful. But, like, basically I'll take the plot points and I'll make them better. I'll, I'll fix almost everything. And you know what? If I make up problems, you know, people will be able to tell me. And maybe I can learn how to, you know, do a lot better with storyboarding and shit. But I don't take Dragon Ball Super as canon. I haven't read the moral arc again. Like, I haven't read it. And it might be good. It might be really good. But, you know, what I've been seeing is that a lot of people just... They, they don't like how, you know, Vegeta's getting shafted for fucking Goku again. To me, I'm like, <laughs> you guys haven't gotten used to it yet? <laughs> Jesus. Um, whenever I think about it, it's just, it's funny that everyone lives in this blissful ignorance. No one really challenges anime anymore, really. Everyone accepts bullshit. Like Beastars. I fucking hate Beastars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, I just, I wanted to make it this video just to clear up something. Because no one has ever really said it like me before. No one ever really says how Ultra Instinct should even be and how it is. Because this is how it is. You're just moving really fast because uh, you're thinking before moving. Like, to me, like, if Goku were to explain it to someone, Goku would probably be like, it's like I'm watching a movie. I'm just sitting there watching my body move and I'm not even controlling it at all. I'm just sitting there watching a movie. And basically, every time whenever his Ultra Instinct would turn off, it wouldn't be because, I don't know, it's not complete or some shit. It, it would be because... Like, we said it perfectly, I can't even remember. I'm pretty sure, like, shit, wait, why am I using this image? <laughs> there we go. Um, we said it best. It was like, Goku's, Goku is clouding his head with thoughts. Goku is trying to be in control of his body. Goku is trying to think before moving. And that is what is clouding his ultra instinct. To me, I, that was like, finally they say something smart. And I was like, yeah, that totally makes sense. He's trying to, you know, learn how to fight and stuff. Because that's what he does in a fight. He, like probes for their weaknesses and stuff. That's just what Goku does, and he can't do that. You just gotta go with the flow, you know? That's all you gotta do, and like to me, I just, it was horrible. I mean, I guess the other thing was like, 
the fight, it just, it wasn't, I wanted to see blood. I, I wanted to see, like, fucking Goku, like, shatter Jiren's arm and then, like, fucking Jiren, like, destroy every last one of his ribs. And they're both just, just duking it out, one-on-one. -on -one, like, pretty much almost killing each other. It, it was gonna be awesome. Like, mark my words. One day, either I'll animate it or I'll fucking... I'll post it. But I will fix Dragon Ball Super the best that I can. To any of you out there who hate, who hate stuff like, you know... Uh, uh, fuck. To, to those of you out there who hate, you know, The Last of Us and... Uh, what, what's another horrible show? Uh, um... Uh, I don't know, Steven Universe, some shit. Just don't take it as canon. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Just do what I do. Justify denial. I gotta say, it really is hard watching one of. Like I said, like Dragon Ball Z really inspired me to, you know, to, to even watch anime in the first place and to even learn how to draw. Um, made these in a couple of seconds, so you know, don't take this as my. Like my 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 best ability at art. <laughs> These are just a couple of sketches. I got bored. I was like, eh, I'll show an OC of myself. Cause fuck it, right? <laughs> I just don't get why not a lot of people are mad. But actually, I'm wrong about that. To be honest, I thought in the past that there were just a lot more fanboys, but I'm wrong. It actually is cut down the middle, 50-50. 50% of people who are actual Dragon Ball Z fans who understand how the show should have been. And maybe they're liking the more work, because again, as I said, like, I, I haven't read it, so, you know, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. But, you know, we're not just here to see a bunch of punch, punch, punch. The punch needs to have an effect. The punch needs to have feeling, passion. It, it can't just be a tasteless, emotionless punch. Um, it, it just can't be that, you know? Um, pretty much. This video was coming to a close, really. I didn't want to stay on this matter for long because, as I said, I mean, I, I explained it pretty simply. Like, I want you to imagine, just for a second, how Ultra Instinct actually could have went down. Whenever Goku is consumed by a spirit bomb, he's, like, on the ground, and basically his heart stops, like he's almost fucking dead. And you see inside of his head, and, like, there's, like, this brick wall that spans infinitely. Then you see another version of Goku on the other side of the wall, who's wearing, I don't know, a, a, a Saiyan suit, you know, a, a, Saiyan, a Saiyan suit, a Saiyan battle suit, you know, the battle armor that Vegeta used to wear. And then he knocks on the wall. Then Goku wakes up and then he achieves Ultra Instinct for the first time, for the first time. And the second time, he'll be fighting against Jiren and he can't use Ultra Instinct. He can't just, oh yeah, that's the other thing about Kefla. So I finally, fuck, I made it to where Kefla would actually make sense. So you know how uh, Saiyans would have like the artificial moon you know, if there wasn't a moon, and then like, you know, they would grow into the great ape. Since, you know, Kale and Khalifa don't have tails, you know, I would still give them like this like artificial moon thing to make them power up just a little bit stronger. Then again, um, I'd have to show you my power level list, and that is not canon, you guys don't want to see that. But at least I would at least try to show how they would get strong. But even then, I wasn't going to make it to where, you know, Goku would use Ultra Instinct against Kefla, because it doesn't make any sense. And the other thing is I just hate how like, Leech is like, oh my god, but he has strong defense, not offense. And I'm like, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. I, I don't care what anyone says, that doesn't make any sense. See, a power level gives you strength, speed, and uh, uh, power. That's just how it works. And Ultra Instinct is just that. It's another power level. See, there's a difference between a transformation and a power level. There's an entire difference. I just... Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. It's just... I wanted to make... That, back to, like... Whenever they're all about to get kicked out, and Goku's like the last one in. Like, Jiren is like kicking his ass, but Goku's also blocking. Basically, he's using his senses, his, you know, fucking hearing, his touch, all that stuff. But he's still getting his ass kicked. And you can see, like, like you're gonna, like, it was gonna be cool. It was gonna be, like, it's not like I'm gonna be poetic or try to have, like, any themes or anything. But I needed to make Ultra Instinct even make any sense. What I learned is that Goku, once he got bonked on the head, he forgot about his Saiyan's in his, his Saiyan instincts. You know, like a wall was basically built in his mind. So that wall needs to be broken in order for him to use Ultra Instinct again. One more time against Jiren. So, in mine, <laughs> Goku only uses Ultra Instinct two times. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> only two times. That, that is it. After that, he, yeah, no, he doesn't use it anymore. I haven't watched the Moro arc. 
And I gotta say, I bet it isn't as poetic as my, I mean, God, I don't wanna call my thing poetic. I, like, I wanna call my, my thing natural, because as I said, I just, it should be like a ritual, like, like meditation, like piccolo, you know? It shouldn't be, oh, I, I got punched it, so now I have ultra instinct. No, no, no. It should be more, more calm, more, more collected, more, you know what? <laughs> no one's gonna listen to me. No one cares. No one cares. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? You know what? I gotta get back to redrawing Dragon Ball Super and every single scene in it and making it better. Because Dragon Ball Super sucks. I don't know about the moral arc. I'll have to, I'll have to get up on that. Um, uh, that's all for now. I hope that you liked seeing my uh, OCs. I'm literally just using my, my fucking pictures in, in, my, in my photo album. I didn't even use that one. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I guess I could use it right now. So whoever just wants to dislike because they don't even want to watch the video, whoever is just an adamant fan of some other dumbass who explained it and they're like, well, you should have just watched this video or you're, or you're just going to say you're retarded without even, having any, without even having any valid evidence, then fuck you. You know what's the weirdest thing? I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice that I drew the middle finger. Then again, whenever you zoom in, the resolution gets horrible. Like, I didn't even notice that I had the middle finger. But, um, uh, so... Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Thanks for liking if you made it this far and understand that old Master Ultra Instinct is stupid. Ultra Instinct in general and Dragon Ball Z is garbage. Thank you for agreeing with me. If you don't agree with me, I actually don't care what you're saying. Because what I'm stating is facts. Now I know that a lot of people are just going to be like, <gasps> Whoa! Even the people who like my video are going to be like, Whoa, you, you can't say that. But yeah, I actually can. Because what I'm saying is facts. Ultra Instinct shouldn't work like how it works in Dragon Ball Z. It doesn't make any sense. That's a fact. You know, I'm done. Like, like they're not gonna listen. 